In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a tilt and shift photo. The tilt and shift effect is where part of the image is blurred, part of it is sharpened, and it creates an extreme 3D feeling to the photo. Some photos work better than others. You need to select a photo that has a clear fore, middle, and background. In this example, the foreground is the waves at the, at the front of, of the river, the middle ground is the raft, and the background is the rocks. The first thing that I'm going to do is go over to my Layers panel, click on the background layer, and drag it to the Create New Layer button so that I can have a copy. That way I can make all of my changes on the copy, and if I mess up, I still have my original intact so I can start over. The next thing that I'm going to do is go over to my toolbox and check to make sure that my color chips down here at the bottom are black on the top and white on the bottom. If yours aren't those colors, you can click these little tiny overlapping black and white squares right here and it will restore the default colors to the color chips. Now I'm going to go directly under the color chips and click on this button which is the quick mask mode button. So initially, you can't see any change to the photo. Over here in the Layers panel, however, you can see that instead of the background copy being highlighted in blue, it's now highlighted in gray. The next thing that I'm going to do is choose the Gradient tool from the toolbox. The Gradient tool is grouped together with the Paint Bucket, so if you don't see the Gradient tool right away, you might have to go find it underneath the, the Paint Bucket icon. Next, I'm going to check up on my menu bar to make sure that I have the correct gradient type selected. And I want the fourth gradient over. That's called the reflected gradient. What I'm going to do now is click and drag to draw a line on the part of the photo that I want to be sharply in focus. So I'm just going to try, start somewhere and try this out and see if I get the right area. So that's a little bit too high. I want less rocks and more raft on the bottom. So I'm going to push Control Z on the keyboard, which is undo, and I'm going to try that again. So I'm going to click down a little bit further by the rafter's arm, and then go a little bit more past the boat. Mm, still not right, so I'm going to try it again. A little bit underneath the guy's arm, and further down beneath the boat. Okay, let's, let's try that. That looks pretty good. So I'm going to click the Quick Mask Mode button again, and I still have too much of the bottom of the boat cut off, so I'm going to try one more time. So Control D to deselect that selection, and I'm going to enter the Quick Mask Mode again by clicking this button, and hopefully this time I'm going to drag it a little bit longer, Click this uh, Quick Mask Mode button again, and I'm, I'm going to go with that. Okay, the next thing that I want to do is go up here to my menu on the top and go to Filter, Blur, Lens Blur. And in this box, I'm going to find the Radius Slider and I'm going to click and drag this radius slider until I have parts of the image blurred out and the middle part where the raft is, I want that to be in focus. So you don't want it to be too extreme, you still want to be, be able to see some of the detail in the foreground and the background, but you want the middle ground to, to, to pop out. So for this particular image, I'm going to say around 40 your image could be different. So I'm going to click OK and wait for that uh, filter to be applied. And then I'm going to do a few more things to enhance the saturation and enhance the brightness. Alright, so Control D to deselect. Now over in the layers panel, I'm going to click on the Create Adjustment Layer button, 
And the first one that I'm going to choose is Hue and Saturation. So I'm going to take the Saturation slider and I'm going to crank that up a little bit to make the colors brighter. That looks pretty good right there. The other thing that I'm going to do, go back down to the Layers panel, click the Create Adjustment Layer button and go to Brightness and Contrast and I'm going to make it a little bit brighter right about there. Alright, so far looks pretty good. The last thing that I'm going to do is sharpen where the raft is. So I'm going to go back to the background copy layer, click on it, go up to the filter menu, go to sharpen and the last option unsharp mask. So the amounts that you put in here will vary but you never want usually don't want to go above 85 or more than 2.3. So I already have these set. Um, you can see a preview of what it's going to look like in the little preview box right here. You don't want to go too far and make it look too extreme. So use your judgment on that. I'm going to go ahead and click OK and that looks pretty amazing. It looks very 3D. So now what I'm going to do is save this and then I'm going to save a copy as a JPEG and put it on my website. That's it for now.